Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to Modern Warships. This is a sponsored video. The developer asked me to have a look at the game and show you guys what this is all about. Now, pardon the quality, it is not what you are used to from my channel, graphics-wise, because this is a mobile game that I'm running on an emulator on PC to show you how the game is built. What do we have? We are a warship game. I mean, it is not exactly Dreadnoughts, it is more modern. Which means that you can have all sorts of different ships. So let's have a look at some of the ships first. You start out right at the beginning, and you can see there's a ton of ships. Um, you start out with the USS Hurricane. It's a patrol boat, it's armed with the AGM-176 Griffin, and armed with a couple of Bushmasters. And when you control this ship, you control both the missiles, the autocannons to some extent, and you control how the ship maneuvers. More about that in a bit. After that, you can upgrade to the Fort Worth. Every battle gets you a bit of experience. Experience levels you up. And as you level up, you also gain the ability to buy more ships. In my case, the developer gave me a press account so I can show you a lot more about the game. But of course, you play and you earn more stuff. As you play, you also gain a bit of dollar value over there. And with that, you can get better ships, or at least different ships. Now, about the ships themselves, they have upgrades available. They have a lot of upgrades. We're going to get into that in a bit. First, let me show you some of the other ships. Um, what are ships you might recognize? The Independence. It's one of the LCSs that the Americans are... I'm not sure if they're still using them. I believe the whole LCS project was not that successful. And that most of these LCSs are being retired, which I think... It's a bit of a waste because I really like the way that these trimorans work. And um, what else do we have? We have a couple of Russian ships, the Admiral Grigorovich. Uh, Chinese ships, type 053H2G Jiangwei. Uh, the Jiangwei destroyers are ones that you might recognize from Wargame Red Dragon as well. And in case you're wondering the helicopter, yes, you can actually control the helicopter as well. You can see that the Jiangwei is actually armed with uh, more weapon systems than the ship I just showed you. Has missile batteries, cannons, air defense, more air defense, and helicopter. Uh, the Arleigh Burke, trusty destroyer from the Americans. Been in service uh, forever at this point, and I think they're going to last a lot more time. What else? Ah, uh, the Nimitz. CVN-68. CVN-68. Um, as you can see on the right-hand side, the stats of these ships are, when it comes to an aircraft carrier, not particularly quick. Uh, don't take this too literal. I mean, the ship can do 9.7 knots. This is an in-game speed. They know probably that the, the ship can do a whole lot more than 9 knots. I mean, 9 knots is, I don't know, less than a fishing boat, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, Amaral Kuznetsov, the Russian carrier. We got some Chinese carriers in the form of the Type 75. We have the Shandong. We have the Italian Cavour. Which is also armed with Apaches. Now these Apaches, if you so desire, can be adjusted and as can everything else. Uh, you also have some more outlandish ships. You got the Kursk, which is not that special. I mean, the fact that she's afloat is special. But what about the uh, ATAK RP 941 BIS? Um, it is fairly outlandish. It has a dual barrel gun on the bow. Um... It also launches fighters, yes, it's, uh, I don't know, it's the one night stand between the Typhoon and a light aircraft carrier, I guess, and this is what came out a few months later. How about the Loon? Interesting, I'm not even sure you're going to call this a ship, it's an Akranoplan. It's one of those low-flying aircrafts, I'm not even sure how you're supposed to call this, but they are armed with the Musket missile battery. Very, very dangerous missile. Try not to get hit by this, whatever you happen to be sailing in this game. Zumwalt class destroyer. What else are we looking at? The Port Royal. A Ticonderoga class destroyer. Uh, there's also a new class of destroyer. Oh, sorry, cruiser. CGX. I'm not aware of this design in real life, but at some point you're going to have to take some liberties. What else are we looking at? Ah, yes. Uh, for those more history-oriented, we have Misery. And Misery is not strictly armed with her 406s, although you can use those. 
Of course, she's also packing her 5-inch guns, the Mark 12s, and the Quad Bofors. She also has a Sea Ram. She's launching a helicopter in the form of a Comanche. And she is armed with RUM-139 Swarmer missiles. It's the uh, new and improved version of the Missouri. I only think that you don't exactly get Steven Seagal with it. And what about Yamato? Gotta have big guns, gotta have Yamato. 460mm, uh, also armed with a hydro aircraft. And surprisingly little in the form of uh, modern weapons. I'm actually quite surprised about that. Especially considering that Missouri was apparently renovated, but uh, Yamato is not. Then, some more modern aircraft carriers. This is the Nemesis CV-01. Very, very futuristic look to it. And comes with a couple of different aircraft. You got the F-35 Lightning II, you got the F-22 Raptor, and the Comanche. Now, keep in mind, guys, it's a game. It's not a reality. It's not a simulator. I know that Raptors are not launched off of aircraft carriers, and that aircraft carriers don't generally consist of having two separate double-mounted airstrips, if you will. It's a game. Have some fun with it. Now, this game, being a mobile game, is available on both uh, the iPlatform as well as the Androids. Then up. Submarines. USS Ohio SSBN-726. Armed with Trident missiles. Tried and true. Well, not so much Trident and true, but um, try not to get hit by a nuke, if you will. They have the ability to go underwater, and that O2 capacity will limit them in that regard. Also, in case you want to do a bit more hunting, you got uh, the Seawolf somewhere. Still my favorite submarine. There you go. SSN-21, far, far smaller than the Ohio from a moment ago. And uh, this is actually a good moment to show you some of the upgrades of these ships. Because in this case... The 21, I'm not sure she can be upgraded, but let's have a look at the carrier. Because I have the Gerald R. Ford over here, CVN-78. She's currently packing the F-35 Lightning. She's packing the F-22 Raptor and the X-47B drone. I believe that these are not in service, but they're being heavily tested. Now, the Strike Fighter, I can also adjust these to have an F-15N, if I so desire. Fourth generation attack plane. You can just install the item, and then we have that aircraft as the new plane. If I want to change the Orlikan, you can. You can go to the equipment shop, and you can say, you know what, this Orlikan thing is nice, but uh, I'm going to upgrade to a Bushmaster. I'm going to buy the Bushmaster. And we're going to install that on the ship. So you can adjust that as you see fit. Keep in mind, you're probably not going to be able to put a 205mm gun over there. Something like that. 203mm and 8 inch. It might be a bit big for what you're trying to play. But you can do this for every single ship. If I'm going to go for, uh, let's say, the base ship. Where is my base ship? Ships. All the way back. Uh, tier 1. Here. Hurricane. Currently, I have the Bushmaster. Um, I can now adjust the Bushmaster to be something else. Uh, maybe I want that. Let's see, maybe I want the Orlikan Millennium. Let's buy that. And now I can install that. And boom, you got a different weapon system on your ship. So you can improve these weapons as you desire. You can customize your whole ship. And I think that's a really neat feature. Um, does it mean, yeah, it would not match your ship tier. So you're going to find yourself up tier. That's fine. Um, you don't find this in a lot of different games. I have found. Not the ability to customize the ships. Yes, you can get different ships. Sure, you can unlock new ships. But what you cannot do generally is adjust their weaponry too much. So I think this is a really neat feature. Something else you can adjust on these ships is the way they look. So let's go back to the Ford. Let's go back to the carrier. And I need to enable the aircraft carriers. There we go. You can adjust the skin. We can change the camouflage. I can make it a special ops ship. Which, of course, camouflage-wise, looks really nice. It's just not necessarily very useful on the water. Uh, you got Desert Storm, you got Red Sneak, Tarantula. But I would probably pick Modern Navy myself. Because this... Um, well, it has a bit more functionality. Or maybe Seacocky. 
I keep in mind that the graphics are a bit blown up because you're not looking at this on a, a phone screen, but on a 1440p monitor. So it looks a bit different. Let's buy these and install them. There we go. Pimped up the Ford a little bit. Something else, you can assign a flag. I can say that... Please be a Dutch flag. They don't have a Dutch flag. Fine, we're going pirate then. Get the pirate flag. And now I think that my carrier is ready for use. So, before I'm going to go into battle, let's see if I can upgrade something. Because you can upgrade the stats on all of these units. Uh, when it comes to the Ehrlichen... Whoops, we're going to go into the workshop here. I can have a look at the stats of the Strike Fighter, the F-15N that I just selected. And I can improve the durability, their speed, maneuvering ability, radar range, afterburner, and aviation reserves. You can have more aircraft. The same thing can be said for other units, although, for example, the Comanche, seemingly the counter-submarine option, uh, don't laugh, is equipped with a sonar. Um, the Ehrlichen here cannot be adjusted with sonar, but you can improve their damage range and reload. So, in this case, let's say I want to upgrade the Sea Sparrow with a bit more damage. Let's upgrade that. And I want to upgrade the Reload. Let's upgrade that. There we go. And you can do this for uh, every characteristic of your ship. So you can make them as upgraded as you like. But keep in mind, they have 30 levels. And these upgrade packs, um, I get a lot of them. And if you use my bonus code down below in the description or in the pinned comment, then you can get a hundred of these for free. These do take a bit of uh, either attention or some money from the in-game funds. So, yes, you can upgrade your ship as much as you like. You're going to be paying an increasingly high fee for it. All right. Ready? Let's go into a battle. It's a 5v5 game mode. I'm currently in a tier 3 match, so I have some work to do. I'm going to wait for some other players. Here's the Ford. There we go. Okay, uh, when it comes to controls, you have the WASD in my case, but on your screen it'll likely be uh, the ability to use your left and your right thumb. Let's send out a Strike Fighter, an Eagle, and uh, this is also quite unusual. You can actually control these. Normally, but I'm thinking World of Warships. Well, you used to be able to control them in World of Warships, but um, not more, not anymore. So let's see if we can find the enemy somewhere. We can hit them either with the guns. Ah, look at that. Oh, wow. That's a bit closer than expected. Let's see if... Oh, could we bomb the screwy over here? This guy? Get ready. Drop. Well, that's not a whole lot of fighters left. <laughs> okay, I did... Some damage? No, barely any. Uh, let's... No, 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 no. I want to go back to the carrier. I want to go back to the carrier. I want to launch something else. Because this is not ideal. The engagement range in this game is a bit short. I would personally prefer, especially if you have a carrier, to have something a bit more range. Because this is a bit short. Now, you do see that my fighters up there are engaging all by themselves. They're trying to clear the skies, they're trying to engage enemy targets, and they are, in fact, doing just that. They've destroyed a helicopter. The air patrol is working. Um, let's... I'm going to have to wait for that squadron to come back, otherwise I cannot launch another group. But my surface-to-air missiles are engaging some of the aircraft flying overhead. And I'm taking damage from a player called Ratchet over there. My aircraft are still providing patrol, and my Ehrlichens are doing damage against... <laughs> what are we looking at here? Is that a submarine? What is that? Whatever it is, it's quite small. Doesn't mean it's harmless. Of course, you would never really take an aircraft carrier into battle like this, unless you're in Hollywood. But hey, in this case, it's fine. It's a game. Take it easy. All right, my aircraft are capable of launching again, so... What did the iceberg ever do? Um, let's send up another flight. Actually, we get these, the drones. Let's go. Let's go. I have cruise missiles. We're being jammed, really. That's unfortunate. 
Uh, can we engage this? Yes. Go. He hit him. 25k. Good amount of damage. Oh, they got another submarine, I think. Oh, this is not good for my drone. Can I crash? I haven't actually tried that. Yes, you can crash. Right. Okay, the aircraft carrier is spotted. It's not great. They only have two ships left, so let's make this quick. Considering what they have up there, that flight, I think it's worth to send some fighters up. We're going to have to deal with these guys. Really don't want them out here. Come on. Get up there. Ah, we're right in the middle of the NTR. I mean, uh, NTR. Get down here. Down, 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 down. Shit. Couldn't get the nose down fast enough. As for the Comanches, I don't think the Comanches are going to be too useful because we're not targeting a submarine. Let's go for the strike fighters. Oh, sorry. These are my ASFs. These are the Raptors. My bad. These are the ASFs. Um, in that case, I suppose the best thing I can do is try and strafe this guy. Which probably doesn't do that much. Considering it's not a weapon that's supposed to be used against an enemy aircraft carrier. Any fighters up? No, we're alone. Okay. In that case, probably best to land them again. Because I don't strictly need them right now. I need something I can actually kill. Hold up, where's the no, we can find them for the rest of for the enemy team for the, the rest of our team. There. Turn. What you got? Yeah, there's a guy hiding over there. Okay. So now at least I know where he is. Let's go back. And um Let's launch the strike fighters again. Let's go. Let's see if I can take this guy out. It's not going to be easy, considering he's hiding behind that ice shelf. We have to approach him. Nice to have a mini-map on this game. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah, he's still hiding over there. We've got four minutes to take him down. Let's go around. Let's go low. Go low, go low, go low. There you are. Prepare for the bombs. Oh, this is not great. Pop flares. And... Release. Not sure if that actually hit him. Flares. Planes aren't looking too hot. Drop. Hit. I'm out of bombs. Crap. Okay, go back to the carrier. Uh, the Comanches. Oh, we do have missiles. We got hellfires on these. That's neat. That's very, very nice. Okay, let's go. These might be even a better weapon to use against those guys. See, the rest of my team should be going there as well, right? Hmm. Again, with a with a mouse, it's a bit weird to be playing this game. It works a lot better when you just have two thumbs. But recording on your phone is not necessarily ideal for when you're trying to make a YouTube video. So that's why I'm showing it you like this. There he is. And you'd also probably use your other thumb... <coughs> whoops. To actually control the movement of the camera. Where are you, dude? No, you're hiding there. There he is. Locked. I'll fire away. 10,000 damage. Damn. Hellfires hit hard. Okay, we're gonna have to go around here. Come on. Go on. Get him. Require. Hit. Oh, we're trying to take a bit of damage. Do side strafe? Come on. Strafe. Hit. Oh. 
Go on. Yeah, his NTR is quite effective. Get him. Top players. We're gonna need something a bit bigger to take this guy down. He has a fairly substantial amount of weapons. Or health, rather. Move. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Why is Proto not actually killing him? We hit him with a Torp? Yes. Well, if I still had a Comanche left, sure. Okay, uh, back to Strike Fighters. Go on. Places to be and people to see. Pull ahead. Okay, prepare for a bombing run. GBU is not a grenade launcher. Oh, fuck. Come on, we gotta finish this guy. I'm sure they did a whole lot. I think the Apaches, sorry, the Comanches were definitely a better option here. Turn. Turn, 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 turn. Now. Nope. Need more approach. Flares. I think this flight's going to be dead pretty quick. Now I should not be crashing my aircraft. I should have enough leeway to get in there. Why are they all hiding behind the ice shelf? I'm out of flares. Problematic. Ma, I was so close. Um, I'm running out of aircraft. I can use these, but these are fighters. Oh, we got them. Victory. Okay, so that gained me a bit of XP. It gained me some cash. It did not gain me any gold. And of course, being a mobile game, you can watch an ad to get a bit more resources. Alright, let's try something else. Let's try a submarine. Durability on the submarine is far less than what you might be considering when you're looking at an aircraft carrier. I'm playing tier 2, not tier 3. And the Seawolf is armed with a Tomahawk launcher, uh, an HUWS, which for me was a new thing. It's a super speed torpedo launcher, or a super high speed torpedo, super cavitation. So I think it's the American answer to the Skrull. And then we got the Mark 50 torpedo launcher. Let's see what else they have available. Ah, oh, there's the Skrull. Torpedo launcher. S damage, 8,000. Speed, 233 knots. When you look at the Mark 50, you're looking at 77 knots. With a damage of 12,000. Range of 13 kilometers, range of 2 kilometers. So keep in mind, you might have all of that damage. You might have all of that speed, but your range is really limited. And this thing... Yeah, it's pretty comparable to the Skrull. Um, I already have these. When it comes to the Tomahawk, I can upgrade them to the Brahmos. Let's see, how much more effective is the Brahmos? Oh, you also got the Musket? You can launch a Musket from a Seawolf. Okay. Uh, 11 kilometer range. 230 knots, 10,500 damage. Got so many missiles to pick from. Here's the... The Brahmos is 18k? Okay. Sounds good. That's a lot of damage. 10 kilometer range. Uh, 14 second reload. Tomahawk, 8 second reload. Durability of the missiles, 25 points. For the musket, it's 40. For the Brahmos... Was it any good? I hear a Swarmer missile. We got so many different weapon systems in this game. There's really a lot to pick from. Keep in mind, though, this is tier 3. Um, if you're wanting to pick within your tier, maybe not go with too big. Although RSM-56 Bluva dealing 40,000 damage with a very high speed and high durability. Sounds good. 30 second reload. That's how they're balancing this thing. Okay. Um, let's pick the muskets. Yes, I'm going to buy those. There. We're going to install those on the Seawolf. Seawolf got a bit of an upgrade. 
Install the item. Check. As for the HUWS, I'm fine with that. I do want to have a look around and see what the sort of torpedoes they got. Um, the Mark 50s. 30 kilometer, sorry, 13 kilometer range. That's good. 12 second reload. We can boost that. Other torpedoes, it's it's not that special. Yeah, we're going to stick to the Mark 50. Camouflage. Got to have camouflage. Special ops boat. Special ops camouflage. And we're going to have the American flag on it because she was an American boat. Is. I'm not sure if she's been retired yet. Okay, let's see about upgrading her. Um, O2 oh, capacity. Very useful for a sub, so let's push that 10 levels. And another 10. I'm going to stay underwater for as long as I can. This does mean I have 9 out of 60 upgrades, so you can still do a lot more. Maneuvering ability could be useful. Sonar range, let's go with that so I can get potentially better detection. And yeah, I think we're good to go. Here she is, the Seawolf. All right, we're going to go down. We're going to increase speed. We are running stealth. Of course we are. We're going to have to use sonar in order to detect targets. Or potentially we can use our allies for that. I'm not 100%. Somebody's definitely shooting. I can see I am... Burning O2, if you will. So, um, it, yeah. I mean, it is a nuclear submarine. Ideally, it wouldn't have to surface ever. Unless it's taking on supplies. In this case, I get it. Because it is a game. You're going to have to balance the submarine out somehow. And if you just make them so that they can always be submerged, it's... It's a bit cheesy. I get that. So let's surface... Wow, weather's terrible. Let's surface and let's see if we can sneak up on the enemy. We are replenishing our O2. We got with us here. A Mach. No, sorry, that's the nickname. Aircraft carrier with an air patrol. And we got something up ahead that's not friendly. Almost replenished. Selecting the HUWS. No, we're going to go for the long-range options first. So let's have the musket. The musket cannot be launched from uh, submerged. You have to be at periscope depth or surfaced, essentially. Spot it. I think we got spotted. Ah, hello. Missile away. Dive. That could be a lot of damage for that guy. Do we miss? I think we missed. Okay, let's send some torpedoes at him then. Yeah, you can't hit me. I'm down. Torpedo away. Slow down. Two and a half kilometers out. Ready to fire again. Wait, why can we not launch? Ah, oh, shit, I lost him. Oh, that's it. I don't have detection on him. That's probably the deal. Collision hazard. Perhaps we are able to sneak up on their carrier. There's an enemy submarine there. If they have one. Zhang Wai, select it. Let's go. Torpedo away. Lost him. Concerned about my O2 supplies here. I might have to slightly disengage and see about replenishing without having the enemy in line of sight. I don't think that torpedo did much. Surface. Gotta take on some O2. Yeah, we're good. Oh, we're not good. We're really not good. Launch a musket. There you go. 10,000 damage. Nope. Don't have line of sight. Get the O2 back up. That aircraft up ahead. That. I cannot do anything about that. 
unfortunately. Ow! Calm down. I can repair my boat. So they can strafe me, huh? That's neat. Oh! Hello. Hello. We found the carrier. Oh! That was a good shot on his part. Come on. Let's go down. We're going to have to make this level of O2 do. Can't touch me here, can you? Unless you're going to be using your Comanche craft. Or whatever other version you have. Hello. This is the fast torp. Repair. Come on. We won't see results here. It's a big target. Yeah, there we go. Salvo away. This carrier is in a lot of trouble now. And I can be here for a while. Whoa, 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 whoa. How's he damaging me? What the hell? Don't tell me that's the guns. Reverse. Torpedoes away. There you go. Now it's adding up. Fix her back up. Two, three more salvos. We might have the carrier. Come on. I think we got him. Yeah, kill assist. Somebody else got him. Okay, surface. Boat's been mostly repaired. All ahead. Let's go find the enemy, because there's still some up ahead. All we gotta do is find him. Here we go. Target detected. We have been spotted, so we can expect counter-attack. 10,000 damage, do it again. We're about to lose him. Yeah, no line of sight. Oh, they're all turtled. Okay. All hiding back there. My aircraft carrier beside me here might be able to do a strike. And aside from that, we're going to have to do a lot of work ourselves. Because this guy is pretty well concealed. Now, you do have, in this game, ammunition for your weapons. I got seven more of those uh, torpedoes, the super fast torpedoes. I got five of the Mark 50s. And I have 16 muskets left. But, if you click here, you can resupply that. Missile away. This should have range. This has range. I think we're about to get attacked. Oh yeah, that's a... Uh, Torpedo. Go down, 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 down. Fix the boat. Down! Before we don't have anywhere to go. <sighs> yeah, I ran right into that. Well, we got some health left, but not much. And I'm still being detected. And I think I got a torpedo on me. <sighs> yeah, they got me. You were destroyed. <laughs> Fair game. I shouldn't have pushed into that. Not like that. That was not ideal, shall we say. Not ideal. Now, overall, I really quite like the game. Uh, yes, it has some stuff that you might think is not particularly realistic. It's a game, guys. It's not a simulator, and it doesn't aim to be one. I have a promo code for you. You can find it in the description. You can find it in the pinned comments. And with that promo code, you can get three days premium access. You can get the early Burke. Which is a nice boat to have. I think it's a tier 2. Uh, it's not a submarine. It's uh, something else. Where's the Burke? Where is the Burke? Here. The Burke. Harley Burke. You can get that with the premium code. And you get one of those 100 power-ups or level-ups. That you can use to improve ships as you see fit. 
Again, it is a game, it's mobile, you can get it on Android, you can get it on your iPhone. I quite like it, and uh, that's saying a lot, because I'm not a mobile gamer. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to use the promo code STEALTH17, and I'll see you guys soon for the next video.